Welcome to another episode of Learning to AppleScript. Today we're going to focus on the four different formats you can save your file as. The first format we'll focus on is the text file format. These files are identified by their .applescript extension. I like to save all my source code in this format. It allows you to search the content of all of your files and look for specific code you may have written previously. The next format we'll talk about is the script file format. These files are identified by their .scpt extension. These are similar to your text file format, except for these are compiled versions of your script. This format is not nearly as searchable as the text file format is. The script format is perfect for creating scripting libraries. We'll talk more about that in a future video. The third format we'll talk about is the script bundle format. These files are identified by their .scptd extension. These are just like your script file format in the fact that they're compiled. However, they allow you to embed other resources that your script may need when it runs. The last format we'll talk about is the application format. These are identified by their .app extension. This is the format you'll want to use when you want to create an applet. Applets are scripts that you can double click to run. In your script, if you add the additional onopen handler and save your file as an application, that will create what's known as a droplet. A droplet is really the same thing as an applet, except for it allows a user to drag or drop one or more files onto the script to execute your code. Typically, a script will quit when it's finished running. But if you wanted to create something like a hot folder where your script constantly monitored a folder and looked for new files, you would want to use an onIdle handler with a return statement. In the example in this top right corner, you can see the return 45. What this does is this tells the script to run the onIdle handler every 45 seconds. To prevent your script from quitting after it's run its code, you'll have to make sure to turn on the stay open after run handler checkmark in order for it to continue to run the onIdle handler. That covers the four formats you can save your script files in. If you have any other questions or comments or things you'd like to see in future videos, please feel free to leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching.